Hello Taurus, how are you doing and welcome to my channel. This is your reading for October 2024 and I cannot believe it's October. I keep having to go, what date is it? It is October, isn't it, these readings I'm doing? And I'm like, are they the September ones? No, they are definitely the October ones. So I'm going to be using two decks, the Golden Art Nauru Tarot and I'm also going to be using the deck called Spellcasting Oracle Cards by Flavia Kate Peters. Okay. So let's get to it and see what wants to come up with the cards for today, for those watching for October. Taurus, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Ascendant as normal. So, you, you know, which, whichever is it for you, whichever Taurus covers for you, Sun, Moon, Ascendant. Those watching, Taurus, what wants to come through? Guidance, whoops, that's interesting. We've got two out. Two's dropped one out, I'll keep those. Right, at the bottom, we've got the lovers in reverse. The two cards that fell out are these little beauties, the tower and the devil, okay? And I was like, Ooh, in my head. And what I heard when I saw that was, now either this is happening, this is going to happen, this is brewing, but something comes in, woof, powerful. A big change or an event. It's going to be different for all of you. But whatever it is, it's coming back in to bring about healing and to bring about balance in your life. So whenever you're watching this, whether you've had that shock, you're going for it or whatever, or it's coming, do not go into fear, by the way, because these moments need to happen. We need tarot moments. We need to dance with the devil to actually bring us back to enlightenment. You know, we need to have that moment with the devil to go, this isn't really me. What can I do to reconnect? What can I do to go forward? So a big shock clears something. Magician in reverse. Let me keep pulling, see what wants to come through. Magician in reverse. Illusion in reverse. Some of you, it feels like an energy of freeze frame where it's like, oh, I can't move, I can't make a decision. I think as well, with whatever comes in, you're being told to just step back from making a decision until the time is right. Because often things need time to clear and we know that everything is energy and it feels as though we need to allow the energies to settle. We need to allow the energies to reground. So there's something here with the past as well. There's something that you've been holding on to in the past. And again, it'll be different for, for each person watching it. You know, reversals can mean that we're letting go of things. Reversals can also mean that things are coming up, that we've been in a certain type of way, energy frequency that's not been serving us and that this is the unraveling. Should we call this video the unraveling? <laughs> The unraveling. So something is being unraveled. The unraveling. And it leaves you feeling defeated. I can't do this. I can't take my life forward. What can I do? I don't want to go forward. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of the constant struggle. I'm sick of having to deal with this, this, this. Let's keep pulling. You know, I don't want my ideas. I don't want ideas. I just, this is a real moment of, I can't deal with it. I can't deal with it. I don't want to deal with it. It can last seconds, hours, minutes, days, weeks, months, years. What I'm going to do is something very different. I've never done this before in a tarot reading. Well, as a tarot scope, I do this in a personal one-to-one. -one. And at this stage, with an itchy nose, <laughs> we'd be saying, what can you do then? We want guidance for those watching in this current situation. We want guidance for those watching in this current situation. What can they do? You can look after your emotional well-being. You can do anything that you can do to look after you. Self-care, baths, bath bombs, walks in nature, warm soups, smoothies, you know, watching inspirational videos on YouTube, reading soul-fulfilling books, 
sleep, rest, exercise, water, switching off, not not eye for an eye, not getting toxic back. If someone's got toxic with you, don't react. Don't get in and go, well, you said this about me. Oh, did you know this about you? Well, I think this about you. Don't, don't. It'll cause more pain. Think before you speak and start again when you're ready. Don't stay in the pain. Don't stay in the trauma. Don't stay in the conflict. And eventually we'll be able to go forward. We'll do one more card and letting things go. Two of cups. This is an, always an interesting card. The five of cups. The three of cups have fallen. That's the party that's gone, the situation that's happened. You know, the whatever's happened and it'll be different for everyone. That's fallen. And it's almost like if you heard the saying, don't cry over spilt milk. But the two of cups is still standing. Now, the two of cups, some readers will say, oh, it's a relationship coming in. It can be. But to go to a deeper level of that, what it really means is the relationship with yourself. What's been mirrored back to us. Now, when we talk about mirroring work, I wouldn't say do mirroring work the minute something happens, unless you're used to mirroring work. I'd say if you're not used to doing mirror and shadow work, heal, recover, realign, release. Okay. But then what is this showing me? What is this teaching me about of myself? What in me brought this in? And be honest with yourself, that's how we alchemize. You know, I bang on about alchemizing things. That's how we alchemize things. So whether you can do that on a day-to-day -day basis, and yeah, I'll do that straight away, clear them up first, fine, do it. If you're not, give yourself some time. But please be honest with yourself when you do it. And how can I be a better version of myself in future? Because everything that happens, every devil moment, every tower moment is teaching us something at such a deep cellular level. And they are always the gifts, the gifts that keep on giving. And that's how you find your truth. You see how the cards with the question of what can you, what can this person in front of me on YouTube do to change this? Do you see how the cards have gone woof? And the truth is coming out. The truth has had to come out. Maybe something's come up a truth. Someone's been talking about you. Someone's been cheating on you. Someone's taken money from you. Don't go into poor me. Don't go into, I'm out in the cold. Everyone hates me. I, this always happens. And if you find yourself there, talk to it. Why am I doing this again? Why am I going into poor me? Why am I also as well? Is there some self-sabotaging that's coming up with this? Are you choosing to be pushed out of something because that suits your internal narrative? Because maybe there's an internal voice in, in you going, you're not good enough. See, told you. <laughs> Don't listen to it. Let's do some oracle cards. Ooh, Taurus. Do you know, I know we started off this reading with some... <clears throat> cards literal sound effects but this if you alchemize it go with it embrace it listen to it observe it dance with it look after yourself going through it whatever this is in october can be your greatest teacher your spirit guides are around you at this time you are not going through this alone and actually this is all about lightening your load going forward the tower is being cleared because you have been carrying way too much itchy nose we've just cut the grass recently and i wish i'd not <laughs> you need to lighten the load the answers that you seek are within and maybe some of you have got your answers and you maybe don't like the answers this is about friendship your lessons in friendship connection and the relationship and friendship with yourself and one more card and this is actually going to be prosperity for you you may go through this and it hurts but one day you will look back and you'll realize that it was all gold that this was actually divine light that was trying to come in that was trying to show you something that was trying to call you back home to yourself that's your reading. Remember that the next group healing is the 8th, 9th of October, 2024. It is an energy field. Cleanse, heal and upgrade. Okay. Two days distance channeled healing, £22. There's no Zoom. There's no links. There's no lives. It's not intrusive. Okay. You can go about your day as normal. If you want more information about that, 
please do go to the pinned comment and the description box below. It will say group healing. For more information, please watch this video. Please watch it if you've never done these group healings before. And to take part, click on this link. If for some reason you go beyond that and go to the actual you to the actual um website and you go to the homepage, it's fine. So you go to homepage, services, group healing. Also, as well, my website, I have all my web website on there. My website. I'm gonna say it's been a long day, but it's only 20 past eleven. Um website down below, book sessions, Zoom, readings, mentoring, healing sessions, distance reiki, distance shamanic healing. I've got my Instagram, my threads, my Facebook and the other YouTube ch channel, other YouTube channels that I have if you'd like to follow me across the board. Thank you for watching. Love to all. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.